Hi friends, MD Vegan. I'm making another stone fruit salad today. I have again cherries, apricots and nectarines and some bananas in the background. Yeah. But I have a different dressing today. I made this kind of salad before. I had some peaches instead of bananas. Uh, now I have a different, but this, it's basically the same stone fruit salad. They grow in summer. I'll show you the, the fruit in, in a moment. But today I make a little, a little different dressing. I make a uh, macadamia flaxseed cream. Uh, and that is interesting because you know my stone fruit salad, the first one, was only with a macadamia cream. Just because macadamias, here are macadamias, they are, have a little bit of a, a, a stronger flavor than cashews. Cashews are sweet. Macadamias are firmer and they taste a little bit more savory. Yeah. So I like them together with stone fruit, a wonderful fr fr uh, combination. But today I have some flax seeds and that's yeah, just one and a half a teaspoon, a tablespoons. Yeah. Because that is a very fundamental nutritious um, nutri uh, nutrient. Flax seeds have many, many nutrients. Um, but they have a special one that is not in many, that is omega-3 fatty acid. Though. So the kind of fat we need and we cannot produce in our body, we have to eat our flax seeds or uh, hemp seeds or chia seeds or algae or walnuts. These are some examples of the rare plants that have enough omega-3 fatty acids. And we need it for the nerves, for the, uh, for the brain, and so it's very important, this kind of fat. But here, with one and a half tablespoons, you have enough for the day. So that would be a substantial part for my breakfast. Yeah? And I wanted to try it first without, and now I try it with, yeah? together with the macadamia. So, so the, uh, a quarter cup macadamia, I don't need that much. And um, one, and a half, one, and a, one and a half tablespoons, a tea, a tablespoons um, flax seeds, that's the daily, the daily ratio. Two bananas here. A cup banana slices and uh, no lemon that's the thing because when I use flax seeds I cannot use lemon without further uh, additions yeah? because the flax seeds and the lemon they turn out to a bitter flavor flax seeds don't like lemon chia seeds neither yeah? So I be careful when I use these kind of seeds. I cannot use lemon. Otherwise, when you put other ingredients into that, yeah. different other, you might you might balance this effect and you can do it again. But when you want to keep it simple and easy, the least amount of ingredients possible, I rather not take lemon. Yeah. Uh, I tried it before; it didn't work. So instead, I take ginger. You know, this is the alternative for lemon. And the dates here to make it sweeter, and they balance this hot ginger flavor uh, nicely. And with flax seeds, the ginger goes nicely. It's perfect. And also macadamias. The macadamias actually are the uh, very good, very good nuts for flax seeds. You can also make, take cashews; they're a little bit sweeter. But I honestly say you, the macadamias are perfect for the flax seeds. The savory flavor. The flax seeds also have a strong flavor, metal-like a little bit. I guess it is because of the, the omega-3 fatty acids, I don't know. Um, um, they have many other nutrients that are very, very uh, healthy. The flax seeds, they are recommended over chia seeds even. Chia seeds are all super healthy, but the flax seeds are even better for the intestines. Uh, but I don't go into the details now. You can read the studies about, studies about it. They are less expensive than chia seeds in our culture, and they are even healthier, some benefits. But... <laughs> Uh, don't go into details here. So, this is my dressing. I will put some water, blend it up, and then I show you my, my, um, my fruit salad. So, blender dance.
first blending, as usual, to break the remaining ingredients down. That is here the dates, the macadamias, and the flax seeds. They're broken down in small pieces. Now they can soak a little bit. And the texture will change. The flax seeds, they soak. With the water, they gel up a little bit. And don't take too many flax seeds. I tried it with three tablespoons. And then the flavor, um, it, it, um, it tilts. Yeah? It doesn't, it's not nice. It doesn't taste nice with too much flax seed. It has strong flavor. So one and a half tablespoon, that's enough for one ratio. This time the ratio might be important, not too many flax seeds, I say again. So, but now the texture changes. I'm going to have to use some more water um, and it will soak a little bit. But let's taste it. Mm. Yeah, perfect. The flax seed flavor is not predominant, that's important. When they get too much in the foreground, the whole thing begins to taste very really strange tart and not good so that but that's good now I know I need a little bit more water just a little bit and now we can soak for a moment the flax seeds broken down especially they gel up and now I show you my my fruit so the background here are some bananas that's in many fruit salads they are like the neutral element like the white canvas yeah, the grounding for the painting, yeah, to, to, to have a nice look at the painting. The painting has a contrast to the background, so you can see the colors. The colors here in my example, in my picture, are the fruit, are the main fruit, the stone fruit. It's a stone fruit salad. Yeah. Cherries, typical stone fruit. Apricots, yeah, also. And the stone fruit, they have a very strong character. I don't know if you noticed, I find it really clearly. The, for example, the apricots, they are original fruit, they are even wild ones, they have a very strong flavor, even sour a little bit, earth-like. Yeah. And the cherries too, they have this aspect, not sour, they are sweet, good cherries, are, but they are also tart cherries, these are sweet cherries. Now you can also take tart cherries, are very characteristic. And I have also nectarines. They are not original fruit, they have been um, cultivated between peaches and apricots, I think they are. And they are also going here, also stone fruit. So, my stone, it's a, a little large cell, a little bit <laughs> too big in the container maybe. But if you have fruit, I say that again and again, you cannot eat too many uh, because they have a lot of fiber and phytonutrients, the colors in fruit are so important and the sugar, that is the high energy in there, is um, not a problem for our um, insulin, for the diabetes and so forth. There's really, because um, it is even if you have, for example, berries, yeah, there's another example with the high fruit sugar content. When you eat a drink a Coke, yeah, that's very unhealthy, of course, with sugar and then you eat a tablespoon of berries together with it, it neutralizes the bad effects, the sugar spikes on the insulin resistance and so, a very scientific terms, that's not something that's not good in our body, it creates damage, it's neutralizing it. So well, some berries with an unhealthy food neutralize it and berries are the healthiest fruit. But the same is true for other fruit, not in the same measure, same amount, but fruit are very healthy and if you only eat fruit, you can eat a lot to get healthy, to get uh, full. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's why a fruit-based breakfast with mainly fruit can be a large one for me. When I have other ingredients, more nuts, more seeds, it gets smaller and smaller because there's fat from protein from the nuts and the seeds. And then um, the, 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 the dishes get smaller. <laughs> but only fruit like this can be large. But if I can't eat that, I put the rest in the refrigerator with the dressing on top, doesn't matter, and eat it the next day or later in the day. It's still delicious, it tastes sometimes even better because the fruit, they release the juice in the dressing, so delicious, I like. So one more blending and then I can toss.
looks good from the outside. Yes, texture also nice from the inside. I have to taste it. Yes. Rhino out of flex seeds, not too many. Good. Yeah, that's what does um, the, di the dates and the macadamias and the ginger in the first place. They balance this strong flaxseed flavor. Mm. Lemon was, doesn't, wouldn't work with that, without other ingredients. You see how creamy it is, it's a nice texture. It will combine nicely with all the ingredients. And it is a nice canvas too for this fruit salad. This has these beautiful colors from the stone fruit. Beautiful, a dark red from the, from the cherries. Um, the orange, a light orange from the apricots, the apricot color. And then nectarines, also a orange, a different tone, a little bit lighter. It's also nice, these bright colors on this white canvas background. Toss a little bit. Beautiful. Beautiful. I can see, still see these bright colors. At the same time, they are a little bit tempered, moderated by this dressing. And that's what the dressing usually does. Yeah. It moderates the flavors in the uh, salad. Moderates or it can also uh, lift them up. Yeah. It can bring the ingredients closer together. Many ways of dressing can be very nice. And also, in this case, the dressing has also a nutritional value. It adds uh, this um, omega-3 fatty acids um, to my breakfast and that makes it more keeping. I will try that in a moment when I eat the salad. And then I'll know for sure, but I know already. These flax seeds, they make a dressing, uh, a breakfast really uh, keeping and filling. But as I said, not too many. Then flavor can get unpleasant. But in moderation, can be used very nicely. I just make a, a glass here of this fruit salad to show you what it looks like. Push it a little bit. The dressing should be all over. Maybe have a little bit more here. No, that's not necessary. It's already there. See, my stone fruit salad with the flaxseed macadamia cream. Beautiful colors with this white background. It's like a modern painting, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the eye, we always eat with the, eyes for, with the eyes first, right? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you like, like my video, subscribe MD Vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. Yeah, the vegan inspiration is endless. We have so many different plants. They can be combined in new and new forms, always new ways. And that's so nice. That's, I like that so much about the vegan diet. It's endless. Opens new doors all the time. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, if you want to find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, very welcome. See you soon.